Uh, he doesn't have a weapon in his hand right now, though. So I'm going to fix that real quick. And um, I'll just show you real quick because I'm sure most of you will probably want to know at some point or another. So you go back to the generic browser. Let's go find one here. Uh, and we had it set up so he's holding a rifle. So let's pick bio rifle because the bio rifle is epically awesome. So let's just pick the first person. You can pick the third also. The difference is one is a lot more detailed. The first person is a lot more detailed because it's meant to be close to the screen. Now you add it just like the other type of skeletal mesh. And um, in my case, it ended up below the floor a little bit. So let's bring that back up. And then... Never mind. Let's actually add that third person mesh. I'm sorry. Uh, it looks like the origin was a little bit different than I was expecting. So let's go add skeletal mesh. And there we go. Now the origin's right where I expected it to be. I'm going to turn back on my uh, rotation lock so that I can get it to rotate exactly 45 degrees, which makes it a little bit more convenient for me right now. Uh, bring it up about to his hand height. Rotate it down. Try to get it, you know, about in the right place. And you can get a lot more exact if you uh, zoom in closer. So I'm going to call that good for now. Now, here's what you want to do for this. You go to Attachment, once you're in the Properties menu, you click this little lock button, and that makes it so that no matter what you select, you're always going to be looking at the properties for this, this gun that you have locked in here. So I'm going to select my static mesh that I want it to attach to, click base, or okay, well, I'm sorry, click uh, the little green arrow to attach it to that base, and then we need the bone name, though, otherwise it'll just attach to the skeletal mesh's origin, which isn't very good. So if you don't know the bone name, you can go right-click on them and sync generic browser, double-click on that, and then it'll bring up what he looks like um, when you're actually... Oh, okay, well, this is like the animation editor, kind of. Um, so you have a lot of different features here, you can do a lot of stuff. But what I want to know right now is the bone names. So you can see, you know, here's Spine 1, for example. Uh, but what I want is I want to see what the hand names are. So I already know this, but I know that you don't, So uh, for the most part. So there's just B right hand and B left hand, I believe. Um, so let's just try this. There we go. And it should uh, correct the capitalization if you have it uh, incorrect. And then you also want to select B hard attach. You don't necessarily have to do that, but it'll work out, I think, a lot better in this case. So now, and I didn't uh, get out of it again, apparently. So now look at this. Now when you go forward, the gun is in the right place, and he's holding it just like he should. Again, though, um, there is no lighting set to this by default, so we need to go in and one more time set up all the correct lighting. And again, it shouldn't, because it's a skeletal mesh, it should not work quite right like that. Um, now open up Kismet again. And, okay, the reason it keeps telling me this, I f completely forgot about this, this is very important when you're adding um, characters. Select your character again, press F4, go to Movement, and select uh, Interpolating under the Physics section. I completely forgot about this. It's very important, though, so make sure you select that. And then, if you're having something that's attached to something else, but you're never going to give it a movement track, you don't have to do that. But, you know, you can just to be safe anyways, um, just in case you ever do decide you want to do it. So now... You can also go and select the gun itself and give it a skeletal uh, track. So it's uh, bio rifle. Oop. So there's my bio rifle. Uh, and you can give it an animation track as well. So let's go find the bio rifle's animation, uh, which should be way down here. Uh, bio rifle animations. And then third person animations here. Give it that. And then now look. You can also set it to. Um, Let's go ahead and fire one. Now watch this. As he's moving, there, you, you can't see it very well, but you can see it is uh, doing the fire animation here if you watch the end of the barrel. I'll go ahead and set this to looping also just so you can see it easily. And you can see how it just keeps moving. Um, and then, if you want the actual fire effect, like um, like the bio, bio uh, actual blobs coming out, then that's a uh, particle effect, so that's completely different. So. I'm going to go over that in a separate tutorial as well. So I'm going to save it here, um, just to make sure that I don't lose everything if it all goes out. 
and that's the end of the skeletal mesh tutorial so thanks